Hi, Gloria Hoffman here with Simply Fit Board. Today we are going to be doing the leg and glute day. This is my all-time favorite workout. It's all about that base, but we're of course going to start out with two minutes of the basic twist. So start out slow. I'm here with all of my lovely ladies. We got Lauren, Sylvia, Diane, and Andrea here, and they are going to get that uh, glute day, that booty day going with us. But of course, warming up, we got to wake up those muscles, especially if you're doing this workout first thing in the morning, which a lot of people do, right? When they first work out or wake up, they want to get their workout in. So we want to warm up that back. We want to go slow to start. Always make sure you have a bend in your knees and you keep your back and your neck straight, your head up. And if you are traveling on the board, go back and watch our Getting Started video. We teach you how to fix that so that you can stay in one place. But even if you're walking around or traveling around a little bit with the board, you're still getting that amazing, amazing core workout. Even though it's a glute day, we always want to work on those abs, right? So that's the bonus with the Simply Fit board. Everything you do while standing on the board, you're on an unstable platform. So you're constantly working that core, flexing those abs, working that threaded muffin top. For you guys out there, that spare tire, you're getting rid of it as you're doing the basic twist. Now, you can do this now that you're warmed up, like to get a little more aggressive with it. The more you get that board twisting around, the more you're gonna feel it in that core area. And the more you're gonna work those abs, that lower back, those obliques. Just a few more seconds. Keep your arms bent if you'd like. One beautiful thing about the Simply Fit Board is that you are tracking steps on any fitness tracker that you can wear on your wrist. You're gonna track steps, usually about 12 to 1500 steps every 10 minutes, which is awesome, as well as getting that cardio. But we are almost all warmed up and we're gonna start out with squats to begin with. Of course, anytime it is leg and glute day, you have to have some squats in there. So just a few more minutes of the warm up and then ladies, are you ready? Five, four, three, two, and one. Down into five squats. Now with squats, you wanna keep your weight on your heels. That's three, four, and on this last one, we're gonna hold it and go into what we call screaming squats, where you rock that board back and forth. Four, three, two, one. All right, now we're going down into those hip thrusts or bridges, as I like to call them. So when you get into a bridge, I'm gonna walk over here and get it out of the way. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do these workouts here with Lauren and Sylvia. Put your feet on the outer circles, get them in close to your, your glutes, and then you're gonna wanna lift up. We're gonna start out with twisted bridges. So lift up for a normal bridge, hold it, and then twist that board. These things get your hamstrings, they get that nice little curve under your glutes and hamstrings. Three, two, and one. Now let's go into burning bridges where you're gonna rock it back and forth on the burning bridges for a count of five. Four, three, two, and one. And now, <laughs> let's get those hamstrings. We're gonna get up and go into donkey kicks, which is another phenomenal workout for those hamstrings in that glute area. The hamstrings are the largest muscle in your body, so it's really important to work these out. And let's go ahead with the donkey kicks. Lift your knee up, let's get it a little more, and then really pulse up for three. One, two, and three, switch sides. Diane is doing our modified version here, where she's doing the toe taps, so she just keeps her legs straight. All right, and three, there you go. Let's get up, back up into the um, one minute twist in between our leg circuit. So we just did squats, screaming squats. We did some bridges, burning bridges, and donkey kicks. Really worked that glute area. And we're only doing five reps today, but it's so easy to make this more advanced. You can just simply add in five more reps, so do 10 reps of each. Really make it an advanced um, leg and glute day. Really get that definition going in that area, build those muscles. It's gonna help your walk, it's gonna help your stride, your posture. Never ever neglect your legs and glutes. It's so, so important. And because we're working our upper arms and core with the basic twist, we definitely wanna add this in. I usually, personally like to do it on a Wednesday or in the middle of my week because it is such a hard workout and you really will feel it the next day. I like to have some time to recover before I do it again 
or I may add it in again on Sunday. But in five, four, three, two, and one, we're gonna go back into five squats, guys. One, two, keep your weight on your heel. Three, four, and hold the last one into screaming squat. One, two, three, four, and five. Those burn like crazy. All right, we're going down back into the twisted bridges. All of this up and down mo mo movement, movement <laughs> if I can talk, is really going to keep that heart rate up, which is awesome. I'm gonna show you on Diane here. Get your feet out towards the edges. Lift up. Diane will just do regular bridges. So just lift up and go down into bridges. This is just a regular hip thrust or bridge, whatever you wanna call it. You can do this or you can do the twisted bridges like we're gonna do here. Five, four, three, two, and one into burning bridges. Make those hamstrings burn for sure. Keep that core nice and tight. Three, two, and one. There you go, let's go into the donkey kicks again. And with these, make sure you keep, it's almost like those planks. You're, you're working your back, keeping that core tight. Lift those legs, one, two, three per side, switch sides, one, two, and three. And we're gonna go back in, like I said, back to the one minute twist. Up and down movement is keeping that heart rate up, burning those calories and that fat. But if you wanna add more reps onto these circuits, you can super easy. And just add a few more minutes onto your workout. 10 minutes, 12 minutes, hit still. Super short to get all of that work in on your lower legs. Like I said, if you need a breather, be sure, step off, get a little drink of water, but hop back on as soon as you can. Join us again. And if you really wanna work up that cardio, try some hit training. Push it as fast as you can when you're twisting for 20 seconds, and then slow down for 10, 20 seconds, slow down for 10, and there will be your minute, and you'll really boost that cardio and that calorie burn and burn off that fat while we're building muscle. That is the key to weight loss and slimming that waist, is building muscle at the same time as you're burning fat, which is so hard to do, but that's what you do on the Simply Fit Board. We're almost done with our minute of twisting, and we're gonna go into our last set. Three, two, and one, back into squats. All right, this is it, ladies. One, two, three, keep that weight on those heels, four and five, hold it, screaming squats, four, three, two, hold it, one, there we go, Whew. down into twisted bridges, one last time, this is it, I know your glutes and hamstrings are probably burning, and that is a good thing, I always used to post, I hurt so good the next day after doing this workout, because you will be sore, and that's good, so let's go ahead and get up, Hold it and start to twist for a count of five. Ready? One, two, you can see her hamstrings working right there. Two and one, go hold it up and go into burning bridges. Five, four, three, I even see your abs working right there, which is awesome. Two and one, back into donkey kicks, guys. We're just moving constantly and keeping that heart rate up and getting that workout in while you're working those glutes. And I'm gonna show you Diane's gonna do the toe taps, one side, go ahead. One, tapping her toe, squeezing that glute area, switch sides. Lauren is gonna do the donkey kicks, really squeezing that glute area. All right, guys, that is our glute workout, and we are gonna go back into our last minute of the basic twist, and we are done. This is our cool down of the basic twist. You guys ready? <laughs> All right, and on this last minute, you can push it really hard and really work up that heart rate and get that calorie burn and burn that fat, or you can take it slow, get your heart rate back down, breathe deep. I always say we don't breathe deep enough, we don't take enough time to really get that oxygen in and that really heals our cells and rebuilds our muscles. And then after this, of course, go grab a little protein, a little bit of protein, which is always good to uh, heal those muscles and build lean tone muscle mass, which is what we all want. And this was a great leg and glute day to make it a little more advanced. All you gotta do is add a few more repetitions on to each of those moves and it will be killer. It will be awesome. 
and you'll be ready to go. We got five seconds left. Four, three, two, and one. Yee, we finished. All right, thank you guys for joining me on my favorite workout, the leg and glute day. And as always, you are on your way to becoming Simply Fit.